Good morning, Cheyenne. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm great. How are you? I'm doing really well. So I got to start. You're a, a teen mom, but you're not one of the OGs uh, that have been on the show for as long as some of the others. Do you feel um, different? Do the uh, the other teen moms make you feel different since you kind of joined a little later than they did? You know, I was so nervous to join because, like you said, they've been on for such a long time. But the girls were really welcoming. Um, you know, it was a little hard to break the ice at first just because I came from another MTV show. They didn't know much about me. Mm-hmm. And I really tried to go in with an open mind. And the girls were really nice. So it wasn't too bad. So let me ask you this. So you came from Are You The One? What was it? What's the... Um What's the difference for you in a show like Are You the One versus Teen Mom? Um, I mean, obviously, the format and everything of the show is different, but do you feel as far as the production process, is it is it really different? Oh, yeah. every It's like night and day. So I started with Are You the One, and then I also did the challenge, and then I did Teen Mom OG, and all three of those shows are like night and day from each other. You know, Teen Mom is shot in our homes with our families and our friends and our kids. So it's mm. super, super personal where like a show like Are You The One or um, The Challenge is shot in like a really nice house with a bunch of strangers and a lot of partying and having just a great time. No responsibilities. So it's definitely uh, very different shooting those different shows. So what is an average day of uh, when you guys are in production? How? First off, how many weeks a year do you feel like you're in production for Teen Mom? Oh, my gosh. I feel like we film almost like year round. I don't think it ever really stops. Um, we film a lot. With, and with COVID, our filming has kind of changed to where we would film months at a time for five days out of the week. And it was very um, intimidating at first just hearing it. But the crew becomes like family. Everybody's super respectful and, you know, respectful that they're in your homes and around your children. So I've had a really good experience with um, Teen Mom's production. So in terms of how early, I mean, is there a specific time, you know, every morning that you get started or a time that you try to wrap up? Or let's say there's something that's going on that you really don't want the cameras to be there for. Do you ever get any kind of pushback on that? Do they really want to try to be, you know, in as much as possible? Or are they kind of easier to work with when you're like, you know, I really don't want this. They're like, okay, no problem. So I think for myself, we normally start filming around like 11 o'clock. So the crew will land around, let's say, 1030. We hopefully get started around 11, depending on the day, depending on my mood, probably. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, they're, they, they want us to be as transparent as possible. That's the point of the show, right? People learn from our mistakes, our good times and our bad times. So I try personally to show both of those because it, it, hopefully it helps someone else. And I would say there's times where I'm like, I don't want to film this, but you know, I kind of suck it up. I put myself out there. I open the door for other people and I'm sure, you know, I've, I've given them a little push sometimes to to leave me alone, mm-hmm. but we work it out at the end of the day. It's um, it's it, I have my good days and bad days. Let me ask you: so you and Corey, from the way that it looks for somebody watching on the show, Corey, the the father of, of Ryder, your daughter, do you th- mm-hmm. feel like it's easier to co-parent because you guys are a part of this teen mom world, or do you find it more difficult? Um, it definitely doesn't make it easier. <laughs> um, we co-parent, we've always co-parented with Ryder and we, you know, try to navigate it the best way we can on the show. I think a lot of people see that we get along very well and always ask, is that real? Is that how it really is without the cameras being there? And it is. We We keep Ryder first, um, and we have a very good co-parenting relationship. Is it perfect? No. Do we argue? Yes. Are people going to see us argue? Yes. But (laughs) hopefully, you know, they get to learn from us, learn from our mistakes, learn how we're trying to navigate this world as young parents, and we do the best we can. 
Well, sure, and I think that's as, as good as it can be. Uh, you just got to play the hand you've been dealt. Um, so as far as uh, your co-parenting right. with Corey, now that you both also are bringing other relationships into the mix, does that complicate things? Do you feel like that makes things a little bit easier to have someone else on either side of it? How, what are your thoughts there? I feel like in a way it makes things easier to have a second set of hands, a second set of ears. You know, we all get along. We all respect each other. There's a lot of moving parts. The main thing is that Ryder is grown up and surrounded by love. And no matter who I'm with, no matter who Corey is with, you know, I just want, I want her to be surrounded by love. And luckily, we both found partners who love the heck out of Ryder. So right. um, it helps a lot. We, we respect each other's um, relationships and boundaries. And all Ryder knows is that she's loved and that's all that matters. Well, absolutely. And now Ryder has a a baby brother, Ace. How was that process? How are you doing after giving birth to Ace? Oh, my gosh. It's been a process. Going from one to two is... um, It's been a learning experience, to say. And I have moments where I feel like I'm killing it. I'm, you know, I'm doing the mom thing. And then I have other days where I'm like, what am I doing? (laughs) How am I going to do this? So it's definitely been a process and to any parents right now who had COVID babies or had to go through a pregnancy throughout COVID, you know, my heart just goes out to you and just take it day by day and protect your mental, protect your health, do the best you guys can. So what can we expect on the new upcoming season of the uh, Teen Mom OG? Um, this season for myself seems like the biggest one for me. Uh, I had so many life changing situations happening on the show from being pregnant, giving birth, getting engaged. Um, there's a lot going on. I just hope you guys really enjoy watching it and aren't too harsh on me. You know, I was definitely at the end of my pregnancy, definitely moody and cranky. So hopefully there's not too much of that, but I guess we have to find out. We'll see when we start watching. Now, in terms of some of the other moms that are on the show with you, when, whenever you watch this show, I assume you watch, do you... Do you know everything that's going to be on there from some of the other moms as well? Or are you kind of surprised and figuring things out kind of as we are as those watching the show? I'm definitely watching along with you guys and learning things. Same time you're learning them. Um, I would say I'm pretty close to Caitlin. So most of the times I kind of know what's going on for the most part in her life. But other than that, I'm watching along with y'all. So it's it's fun to watch. Very nice. Now, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask. So currently, you know, the new season of The Challenge is on. Corey doing well so far. Uh, are fans of Corey going to be happy with the way this season of The Challenge turns out? Anything you can tell us about maybe his performance this year? You know, Corey does the challenge. He does a great job. He's done it for a long time. He's actually gone for most of the season, and we have to deal with him being gone and how that plays out. Mm -hmm. I'm always proud of him for putting himself out there and doing it, so I hope you guys are proud of him, and hopefully he makes it far. Got you. You did a really good job not trying to give away any spoilers. I'm proud. Well done, Cheyenne. (laughs) (laughs) I really tried. <laughs> <laughs> well, Cheyenne, we appreciate you taking the time to chat with me. And we're you looking guys forward aren't, to... You're not going to get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've, you've learned your lesson. I get that. You're a professional. <laughs> right. <laughs> maybe maybe I, could convince, I could convince some of the other teen moms to maybe give something away, but not you. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. We're looking forward to seeing you on the new season. Best of luck to you as a mom of a new baby boy and continued uh, success in your career and your future. Thank you so much. See ya.